bring to you what I like to call the chickpea trio. We're gonna use, make three different recipes using chickpeas. One is our sunflower crunch chickpea salad. This is a nice meat-free option or a take on the chicken salad that you can do with sandwiches, dips with crackers or with vegetables. Our second recipe is a lemon herb chickpea salad. This is an excellent side dish for your meals or can be used as a main dish. It is definitely well received by kids as well due to the lemon flavors that are in there. It's kind of tart and nice. And then the last recipe is our grain free peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. You can use alternatives for this recipe as well, but my favorite part about this recipe is that you can eat the dough. So let's go ahead and get started. The first recipe is our sunflower crunch chickpea salad. What you're gonna do is take one can of chickpeas rinsed and you're gonna smash them up. I have them already smashed here. We're going to add our sunflower seeds, dill, red onion. We're gonna add that to the mixture here. Then we're gonna add just a little bit of honey. The nice thing about honey is you can get um, your local honey and it's great for allergies this time of year. Gonna add some honey. You can do agave nectar or maple syrup for your vegan options. And then we're gonna add mayo, or you can do a vegan mayo and some Dijon mustard. We're gonna mix all of that up and it makes a nice, easy to dip and easy to add to sandwiches. There is a sauce that you can also make for this kind of like you know, to add a little bit of extra creaminess to things. And it is just hummus, dill, lemon, and you mix it all together with a little bit of almond milk if you'd like, or just water to add and make some creaminess. And I will show you the final product here in just a little bit. Then our second recipe is our lemon herb chickpea salad. This is very nice that you can make it ahead of time. You can, um, like I said, have this as a side dish for meals or as a main dish. So we're gonna add, I have fresh basil, parsley, and garlic. We're gonna add all of that. Then we're going to get some fresh lemon juice, but if you have just lemon juice at home, you can add that to your mixture. This adds some nice tartness to your recipe. Take a whole lemon, and then we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese. You don't have to do the Parmesan cheese if you prefer not to do that. So it can be a nice um, alternative there for you. But we can use the same. We're going to mix this all together and it makes a wonderful salad. And like I said, it can be stored in an airtight container in your refrigerator and it allows those flavors to marinate really well. And then last but not least, we have our peanut butter, chocolate chip cookies using chickpeas. So in a food processor, you're going to put all the ingredients, you're gonna put the, except for the um, chocolate chips. So you're gonna put your nut butter, you can use a sunflower butter if you'd like, or also an almond butter, but you're gonna put that, your chickpeas rinsed and also patted dry, um, your baking powder and your honey, as well as your vanilla and you're gonna put all of that into the food processor until it gets really smooth. You can see, you wanna make sure you've got a minimum amount of chunks in there. And then we're gonna add our chocolate chips to that. Mix it all in very nicely. And then, like I said, we're just going to make um, cookies. They're very nice because they um, stick together well. And then you're going to just Add them to your cookie sheet with some parchment paper and you can just flatten them and they don't really spread that much at all but you cook them at 350 for approximately 10 minutes so you've got your three recipes here using your using um, the chickpeas which are full of fiber and great nutrients and then you've also got the fibers being very beneficial for um, extra fullness. And then as well, you can make these vegan or um, vegetarian, you know, different options here for you. So I wanna show you the final product, but wanted to show you our sunflower crunch chickpea salad. 
It's nice here with some crackers or you can also do with veggies or whatever you might like. Or you can of course make it into a sandwich. You can add all kinds of things to make your sandwich super hearty. I've got avocados, onions, and then the sauce, which is, um, makes it super delicious and extra creamy. Then we've got our lemon herb chickpea salad. Again, a nice side dish for any meals or just as a, as a main dish as you want, something refreshing and uh, also nice for the kids. And then last but not least, we have our peanut butter chocolate chip chickpea cookies. So a great alternative, and don't forget, the best part is that you can eat the dough. I appreciate you all joining me. Look forward to hopefully many recipes to come. I hope you all stay safe and stay well. Um.